On October 9, 2024, the Twitter account at K-Defense Insight shared a video captured by South Korean broadcaster NBC, showcasing the unloading of the K-2GF main battle tanks. This delivery marks a key milestone in South Korea's military modernization efforts, led by Hyundai Rotom, which aims to enhance the country's ground capabilities by integrating next-generation armored vehicles into its forces. In 2024 alone, Hyundai Rotom is set to deliver 56K-2 GF tanks to the South Korean Army through three final deliveries. This tank deployment is part of a broader strategy to incorporate a total of 260K-2 tanks into South Korea's armored fleet, with more than 200 units already in service. The ongoing delivery schedule will continue through 2025, helping the South Korean Army meet its defense goals. This ramp-up is crucial for ensuring the Army's readiness to face potential threats across the country's rugged and mountainous terrain. The K-2GF represents a highly advanced version of the K-2 Black Panther tank, specially designed to perform in the challenging geographical conditions of South Korea. Equipped with a powerful 1,500 horsepower MTU 883Ka 500 diesel engine and an automatic transmission, the K2GF can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads while maintaining superior mobility on difficult terrain. Its in-arm suspension unit, a controlled hydropneumatic suspension system, further enhances the tank's adaptability, allowing it to adjust its ground clearance and position based on the environment. One of the K2GF's standout features is its 120mm smoothbore gun equipped with an auto-loader for increased efficiency. The gun can fire both armor-piercing and explosive rounds, with an effective range exceeding 2 kilometers. An advanced infrared sensor and laser rangefinder ensure high-precision targeting even in low-visibility conditions, a critical capability for modern battlefield operations. In terms of protection, the K2GF tank boasts high-strength composite armor modules and an active protection system APS, to counter enemy anti-tank missiles. These defensive systems are coupled with an advanced fire control and battlefield management system, which allows for real-time coordination with other units, making the K-2GF a formidable asset in modern military engagements. Beyond South Korea, the K-2 Black Panther is gaining international traction, particularly in Europe. Poland has emerged as a key partner for Hyundai Rotom, securing a contract in August 2022 for the delivery of 180K-2 tanks. To date, Poland has received 46 units and is negotiating for an additional 180 tanks to bolster its armored capabilities amid regional tensions. Romania and Armenia have also expressed interest in acquiring the K-2 as part of their military modernization programs. The K-2's competitive price tag around $20 million compared to the German Leopard 2A8's estimated $45 million, makes it an attractive option for nations seeking advanced yet cost-effective tanks. The K2's adaptability across different environments, coupled with its high-tech features, underscores its growing influence in the European defense market. According to the military balance, South Korea currently fields approximately 2,115 main battle tanks, MBTs, which include both cutting-edge and aging models. The country operates 1,000 K-1 and K-1E-1 tanks, alongside 450 upgraded K-1A-1 and K-1A-2 units developed in the 1990s. While these tanks remain effective, the country also relies on around 225K2 Black Panther tanks for more advanced operations. However, the fleet still includes older models, such as 400M48A5 Patton tanks, which date back to the 1950s and 1960s and are increasingly outdated. South Korea also maintains 40 Russian-origin T-80 tanks. The ongoing deliveries of K2 GF tanks and similar modern systems are crucial for replacing obsolete models and maintaining a capable armored force to meet evolving defense challenges. South Korea's commitment to modernizing its armored forces through the delivery of the K-2GF main battle tanks marks a significant step in enhancing its military strength. 
As the South Korean army continues to integrate these advanced tanks into its arsenal, it positions itself to respond more effectively to both domestic and regional security challenges. The growing interest in the K-2 Black Panther from countries like Poland, Romania, and Armenia further highlights the global relevance of South Korea's military technology in shaping the future of armored warfare.